boy in all girls school. Come on. So two years ago, I had a ridiculous idea. What if I tried out being gender fluid and applied to an all girls school? But if I got access to hundreds of them without male competition, then I could have a new girlfriend every week and live like a rock star. Wait, I don't think you understand what happens in all girl girls school, dude. Jesus Christ, I don't think that's how it goes down, but okay. I immediately sent an application to an all girls school near my home. And to my surprise, this is this is a classic guy interview. dream though. I got there dressed like a cute girl, but the principal said Please tell me this is a joke. It's because boys always make fun of me. And now I hope that this school will become my safe space. Well, this is... the following week, I received an acceptance what letter. The... And it gets better. On my first day of school, every girl wanted to talk to me. I guess that despite my wig, I was still a pretty good looking dude. One girl even asked, do you feel attracted to girls? And I responded, of course I do. You see, that was the first I'm thing they a said? lesbian okay. transgender woman. But this was just the beginning. Oh my god. Back at school, girls would literally fight over me. Like when Selma massaged my shoulders and Claire got so I mean, it's a case so of supply and demand, away, I guess. Screaming, get away from him or I'll break your neck. Oh. Oh, and okay. I still remember the first time I <clears> took <throat> two classmates behind the science building where no teacher could see us. I asked, have you ever kissed a guy? and they both shook their heads. I could tell they were inexperienced, so I gently pulled one girl in for a kiss, and then the other oh, one. What the it was a kiss Yo, what is this animation? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's like back and forth. But oh. at one point, I yeah, started I dating this. Cassandra. We were a happy couple, but the other girls were jealous and tried to break us apart. All right, bro. They bullied her nonstop Jesus. and often made her cry. Now, to be honest, I didn't treat her any better. Lol. One time I even cheated on her with her best friend Lacey. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, no. I didn't no. treat her any better. One time I even. Wait, I cheated on her with her best friend Lacey. Bro, his hand is behind. Yo, it's uh, not even behind. Wait, actually, quite literally behind her back. Damn. I cheated on her with. Wait, are you hand freaking? Best friend ew, ew. Look, look at her! Look at look at the look she's given him. I started dating multiple girls at the same time again, but it was almost too easy. Too Not easy. He gets too much pussy. Wanted, it's too easy. But afterward, they'd even brag about having hooked up with me to their friends, and sometimes I caught myself being a real jerk, like when uh -huh. I promised Katie I'd start dating her if she helped me during my exams. She risked a lot by showing me. Of course, me she her has glasses. Come on. Answers during exams, and that's how she got me two A's. But afterward, I always made up excuses to why I couldn't see her on weekends. Even just be though, like, actually, just be I like a girl from the other story. Just frick them for fun. Her. Come on. But girls don't seem to care if you are honest or not. For them, it's all about dating the cool and popular guys. Or the only guy. Jesus Christ, this guy has monopoly. It's actually quite sad. By the way, my favorite class was Spanish. Oh, what, was what's sad is not pretending to be another person and going to another school. Jesus Christ. Okay, dude. Just me with four other girls. They were all Latinas and super naughty. Whenever the teacher Wait, left what? the room, they came over to me to flirt hey, or yo. even kiss me. It was so much hey. fun. And one time I invited all four of them to my home to do Spanish homework. I wasn't this is fake, guys. No, no, it. based on a true story, of course. But even my Spanish teacher There's seemed There's way too much in kissing, bro. I one can't. time she made me stay after class and asked, so, are you already dating someone? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Even the teacher. <laughs> uh, I'm still available. <laughs> then she just smiled at me, and I know I could have kissed what her or something, but I wasn't brave enough. And Wait, you didn't even do it, and they still animated it. You didn't even do it, pussy. You didn't even do it. You didn't freak your teacher. Come on, pussy, pussy. Picking out. It's weird because normally I was super confident. You Riverdale. see, whenever a guy is shy, it's only because he's subconsciously afraid of another man punishing him for stepping out of his lane. What? So if tomorrow only one man was left in the world, he'd be the most confident jerk you could imagine. What? He'd order supermodels around to make him coffee or tell them to massage his- No, that's what you would do, dude. Jesus. Anyway, all good things come to an end. One day, I got called into the principal's office. She told me she had video proof of me making out with another girl. I responded. Oh no, so wait, 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 wait. He's gonna frick her as well. Oh no, not the principal. Listen to me, you scumbag. You have never been a woman, and you will never be one. <laughs> Yo, principal called him a scumbag. What? You God. are expelled. Then they'll turn this into a big scandal. 
And I don't think you Yo, want he's that. blackmailing. Or I could tell she wanted oh to strangle God. me. But in the end, she let me go after I signed a contract stating that I wouldn't kiss or date any more girls in our school. What kind of a contract is this? Hello? What is this contract? This one page date signature? Just one I, John Smith. <laughs> John Smith? John Smith? That's the most, no, that's the number one fake name in the world, dude. Agree not to kiss or date any more girls in our school, okay? But of course I didn't honor the contract. In fact, I accidentally got a girl pregnant right before the summer break. When parents found out that a boy had infiltrated the school, they completely freaked out and forced the Holy principal to expel shit. me immediately. I guess karma was catching up on me. I just wish I could relive it one more time. Dude, th <laughs> this was the most messed up story I think I've ever seen. Oh my god. How do they feel comfortable uploading this to YouTube, dude? That's nuts. Yeah, bro, these animators have a serious problem. 